it's just so freaking bright okay guys so um i'm late on my vlog because i'll tell you what in a minute um, this um, this is bothering me i have like a band on but i just wanted to show you really quick what i had um bought for cabinets remember i said i bought cabinets in my little um shopping spree thing so even though i bought a lot of stuff i kind of knew what i was gonna do with it before it got here so i thought that was kind of cool so i'm gonna i don't know how to do this but um so this is the first one and then i'm gonna kind of go around and then there's like a mid-size hold on i'm getting messaged hold on camera okay and then another tall one and um, this is our dining room so we'll do like a little panoramic thing see table what are you doing eli you're so weird and then that and see this pile of stuff is driving me absolutely insane because what i did is i told the kids anything you don't want don't worry about where it's gonna go put it in a box and we'll bring it down here so i have to process all this and if it's like ebay or um parent sale stuff so anyway this is brilliant this is absolutely brilliant you guys got to see this see this these lock these lock so that the kids can't get into everything and it's awesome so i'm gonna see if it's unlocked there and it locks there and it locks on the bottom hold on open it up and i almost almost have everything organized but not quite so let me see if i can show so this is all my stencils you see that okay works in progress so that they don't get messed up and these are acrylic things and these are the things i don't have um bins for yet so what i did is i went ahead and got some stuff saw what would fit and now I, and then i'm gonna reorder the things that actually work that'll fit these things so and these are random things but the markers that i bought are here and these little snap bin things these are random things that we picked up as we cleaned the upstairs today so these all snap together this snaps off and then i have extra lids here because the you get two and then the lids have handles but i went ahead and stacked four so if i want to use my uh, metallic ones i'll just unsnap the bottom here and then pop one of these extra lids on it and i'll be good to go and i have four more of those coming because i don't have enough room just yet for all my markers which are kind of down here just in this little thing this won't be here either because i don't like just random bins i like everything to stack nice and neat so that's the top shelf of this and then in here this is all of our sketch pads and paper that I bought, all nice and neat. These are the kids' um, rubber stamps. Eli, why are you doing? Are you blocking the light for me? You're so nice. And all the kids' art supply things like crayons and like little kid paints. And then up here, this bin won't be here either because this is all of a like sketching stuff. And I went ahead and bought something that'll snap together just like this. So I'm waiting on another set of these that snap together with the handles for our um, like pencils and these are watercolor pencils, regular color pencils and sketching pencils. And then the second bin will have all of our acrylic paints that are right there. Okay, so down here, these are more color pencils. Like I said, we don't have a bin yet. Um, I have a bunch of um, bracelet supplies in here for paracord bracelets for Matthew's gift, rubber stamps that were supposed to be put back in that. These are all these kind of acrylic paints, like the little tubey ones. And then this little nifty thing, which I got, I got two of these, one for makeup and one for this. It has all this stuff in here. Now I know it's annoying because like got that's a lot of um drawers. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-four drawers. Um, but I have a label maker and I just bought a refill cartridge for it but it was defective so i'm waiting for the another one to come so once that comes i'll label everything it'll be really easy to access so on the bottom this is all um three-dimensional kind of things and then this down here is stickers and these are all my magazine cutouts picture frames envelopes for um the uh, themes that I'm doing. So like the, the big collages I do, the envelope will either have the quote that I'm doing or the theme and then the stuff will go in there and be filed all nice and neat. And then on the top, canvases, huge white ones, medium white, big black, square, and then panels, and then my paper trimmer. And then a little bit, just a little bit of art up there and some random stuff I need to put away. All right, that's the first cabinet. You're so nice. <laughs> Eli's here, what are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. It's a reflector. Yay. Okay. All right. Medium cabinet here. 
And I did this, I did this so that we have like the tall ones and then we have a working surface here because we're gonna put the printer and um, laptop here to do Amazon stuff because I'm gonna be moving the uh, computer desk upstairs. What, baby? Yeah, right. See, see, see we just keep our guinea pig stuff here. These are books that are on eBay right now and that way, even though we listed them, the kids' little hands won't ruin them before they sell. And then both of these bins down here, they're full, are all the magazine pages I've tore out that I've got to cut up. That's a lot. And I even have more upstairs. But I got through that massive stack of magazines, so that's cool. Right. This is our business cabinet. And it's locked because that's more smart. Even though there's, they're like two weeks old and they've been colored on already. Of course they have. Right. So this is actually kind of empty, which is good because we have room then. So all the kids' new puzzles are on the top because I know that you would think you'd want them to have access to them, but all they do is ruin them. So we have to keep anything that has small parts and, like, you know, pieces up, and we have to monitor the kids playing with them. So um, this is uh, Amazon and eBay shipping supplies here. Empty shelf. There's, like, a return there. And then down there is our tape. But we have more stuff that's going to go in there as we get everything organized. We just really needed a place to put things away from the kids and I know this is a kind of a weird setup being in a dining room but this is where we do the work so we might as well you know organize for how you live and then up here is like an art caddy thing so um, that's my current picture that I'm working on with the current markers I'm using and then this thing has important papers in it and this is a wood burning kit and then right here I have towels set up this is where the little guinea pigs live in our mirror and then if I turn around computer area and I need to finish this wall up or take it down because it looks like really ridiculous um, laundry room is right there you guys know you've probably already seen my uh, dining room and then this is the music area here and in this thing is all the kids like coloring books paper staplers glue guns what else is in here Eli scrap of paper tape just anything so like that's what we where we keep it and now it's like a pile of crap here because I've got to go through it. So what we're doing is like just bringing everything downstairs that we don't want or I mean because we're going through everything like clothes and all that crap. So anyway, that is my setup here that I've been doing. And now I'll get on to the week's vlog. So just hold on one second. As you can see. That was extremely helpful, Eli's here. Okay, so this week, the reason that I couldn't get my vlog done is I went to the doctor three times this week. Monday was my regular follow-up, but on Sunday, um, hold on, I'm getting messaged like crazy. Um, so Sunday, and I'm not gonna go into why, I know why my muscles did this. I wasn't cleared for certain activities and did certain activities, so anyway. When I woke up on Sunday, my belly looked like a waterbed, and it, <laughs> Jamie had actually asked me that because I'm like, it's so tight. It feels weird. He's like, but is it a waterbed? Because if it's not a waterbed, it's just swelling. But it, I mean, it literally feels like a waterbed. Like you touch one side of your belly and the other like does this. It's called a seroma and it's like a fluid buildup. So when I went on a Monday, um, what was going on is my incision's healing, but where the staples were, there's still a few little holes for like from the outside in. So what was happening is fluid was leaking out of those holes. So what he did is he kind of felt around on me and then he syringed me. Like he took a big syringe about this big around long and he drew fluid out of my stomach. I didn't look, I didn't watch it. Jamie just kind of told me what it looked like. And then um, they pressed super, super hard on my belly and it came out now. Then on Tuesday evening, what I had to do, instead of just wearing like regular gauze around my incision, I had to wear um, like cloth diapers, like tucked into the waistband of my underwear. And I was like soaking through those. It was absolutely horrifying. I was like, I'm dying, I think I'm dying. And so we called the plastic surgeon at 11 and the on-call one. And they're like, no, it's it really is okay. I know it's horrible. Um, so, I went Monday and was dealing with that on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I know they say it's normal, but you're like having all this. It just grossed me out, honestly. And um, so they decided on Monday, since it was like so watery, that they were going to go ahead and um, reinsert the tubes to have drains off my body again. Not thrilled at all. Um, so that was decided Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. It just it was making its way out of my body on its own. So I went in on Thursday and did um, pre-blood work and they wrote me a prescription and did all that and they put me on antibiotics 
and I had to sign papers to go back under the knife on Friday. So we got there at about 11 and they gave me an IV and they all they did was kind of calm me down and then numb it. And he did an incision like right up here and I'll show you. It's like right here. And they went to put the tubing in, but there was no fluid. So that meant that was good. Like my body was like, okay, we can handle this. So all of it did what it needed to do. So now I have kind of a little incision, but by that time I was in a lot of pain. I was really uncomfortable and I didn't know what to think was going on. I was just, the incision hurt so bad and didn't, I didn't understand all that. But the mystery was solved when I came home because in surgery, they took all that tape off because I had like these little tiny steri strips all over my incision and what was going on is they were getting wet from the um, fluid and in from taking a shower and the glue would like kind of reactivate and my skin was so pissed off so they took all that off and um, only put a couple more where the incision wasn't quite healed and now my skin is just peeling and peeling and peeling and itching but it's not hurting it's not pulling and I think that's a lot of where my pain was coming from is that it was every move I made was pulling, you know, like skin and like, like any of your body hairs on you, you know, and it was making me absolutely completely crazy and miserable. So, um, after my surgery on Friday, which I guess they called a surgery because, whoa, can you just not, why is that even on? You're being, he's being weird. He's like my little Steven Spielberg. Up there. You're so cute. <laughs> anyway, um, they said I can get back to light activity because I was like, when can I work out? Like, cause I want my, the rest of my body to be, you know, looking like my, um, my stomach and, uh, this dress that I'm wearing right now used to be really tight and it's loose. I won't be able to wear it for very much longer. And I can definitely, definitely see the difference now. And it's like all that pain was worth it. Like I keep looking in the mirror, like that's my body because it's like my stomach is flat. My belly button looks normal and like my profile is flat and all my pants fit weird and there's nothing there except a flat stomach and I'm like whoa because dude like even when I was a teenager I never had it looking like that I mean I went in to get baby stuff corrected but now it's like whoa that's actually my body I don't know I, I'm really happy with it honestly I, I have absolutely no regrets at all that I did this because it's kind of nice to be proud to see what you know you look like in the mirror and now there might be a time I could wear a two-piece bathing suit and not be like embarrassed by it like I don't know I won't be like showing off on Facebook like look at my body but it's like wow that is so cool it's so cool um so today we did like major 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 cleaning upstairs in the kids rooms and all the kids rooms made them go through everything and Eli told me it was kind of nice to get rid of things that they're just sitting there like, you know, use me, use me, use me, but he didn't want to anymore. I'm like, that's totally fine. You're, you're over it. You don't have to hold on to stuff just because you're supposed to use it. So now I have a big old pile of stuff to, uh, process and get through. I still haven't sold my yarn yet and I need to, um, we just ran out of time today. We're always running out of time. That seems to be our thing. And, um, we're hoping to get the upstairs completely and totally done tomorrow and then grocery shopping and all that kind of stuff and next weekend I say goodbye to my girls it's gonna be a hard weekend because they're gonna be gone for two straight days and they help me so much and we hang out a lot but they're gonna be excited to go to their concert so that's next weekend and just trucking along oh Jamie got his uh engineers of Australia assessment done they wanted a few more things they were trying to rate him as an engineering technologist and they wanted pay stubs because he didn't understand why he made what he made if he was a technologist like no I'm not a technologist here so there's been a little confusion because they don't have a nuclear industry they don't quite know where to put his skill set because he doesn't do what the people over there do and they don't really know what to call it but the good news is it doesn't matter because the assessment just getting assessed means we get a visa so we're really excited about that we'll know more on Monday and it's happening Australia is happening and uh it's weird. It's really weird to think like there's this huge big thing looming that we really wanted and it's actually really happening. So anyway, it's getting up to 15 minutes on this vlog and I have another one to do tonight that's not quite so nice. I've got a vlog coming up about being angry about people and the way that they treat you and all that good stuff. So hang on tight.
because it's coming.